Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, today, I want to talk about the universal aspect of human existence, adversity. It's something that each one of us faces at some point in our lives, and it can be profoundly challenging. Adversity comes in many forms, whether it's a personal setback, a professional hurdle, a health crisis, or any other trial that tests our resilience. But here's the remarkable truth, adversity, as challenging as it may be, can also be a catalyst for growth and transformation. With the right mindset and strategies, we can not only overcome adversity, but emerge from it even stronger and more resilient. Today, I'd like to share with you some powerful strategies to help us navigate the turbulent waters of adversity. Reframing your thinking, often, the first step in overcoming adversity is to change our perspective. Instead of viewing adversity as an insurmountable obstacle, we can choose to see it as an opportunity for growth and learning. Adversity, in many ways, is a teacher. It teaches us about our own strength, resilience, and capacity for adaptation. When we reframe adversity in this light, it becomes a stepping stone rather than a stumbling block. Think about the great inventors, scientists, and leaders throughout history. They faced adversity, but they used it as a catalyst for innovation and positive change. The Wright brothers faced countless failures before they achieved powered flight. Thomas Edison famously said, I have not failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. These individuals understood that adversity was not a roadblock but a pathway to success. Seeking support, no one should navigate the stormy seas of adversity alone. Seeking support is not a sign of weakness it's a testament to our humanity. We all need a support network, whether it's family, friends, mentors, or professionals. These are the people who can offer a listening ear, provide guidance, and remind us that we are not alone in our struggles. Think about it. When a tree faces a fierce storm, its roots reach deeper into the ground and intertwine with neighboring trees for support. In the same way, humans can lean on one another during challenging times. The simple act of talking to someone who cares can provide tremendous relief and strength. Taking care of yourself, it's essential to remember that we are holistic beings that are physical, emotional, and mental well-being are interconnected. To overcome adversity effectively. We must take care of ourselves in all these aspects. Physically, this means getting enough rest, eating well, and engaging in regular exercise. When our bodies are strong and healthy, we're better equipped to handle stress. Emotionally, it's crucial to acknowledge and process our emotions rather than suppress them. Seeking professional help, such as therapy, can be invaluable in this regard. Mentally, practicing relaxation techniques, mindfulness, or meditation can help calm our minds amidst the chaos. These practices enable us to approach challenges with a clear and focused perspective. Remember, it's not selfish to prioritize self-care. It's an act of self-compassion that enables us to be better equipped to face adversity head-on. Focusing on solutions. Lastly, rather than fixating on the problem itself, we should shift our attention towards finding solutions. Adversity often presents us with a unique set of circumstances, and within those circumstances, there are opportunities for positive change. In times of adversity, it's essential to identify what aspects of the situation we can control and take decisive action. For instance, if you're facing financial adversity, focus on creating a budget and seeking new employment opportunities. If it's a health challenge, work closely with healthcare professionals to explore treatment options. Think of adversity as a puzzle. Each piece of the puzzle represents a challenge, but it also holds a potential solution. It's up to us to piece it together and find a way forward. In conclusion, adversity is an unavoidable part of life. It's not a matter of whether we will face it, but when. However, by reframing our thinking, seeking support, taking care of ourselves, and focusing on solutions, we can transform adversity from a roadblock into a stepping stone. We can emerge from these trials not broken but fortified, not defeated but triumphant. As we confront adversity in our lives, let us remember the words of Theodore Roosevelt. It is hard to fail, 
but it is worse never to have tried to succeed. Adversity is not the end of our journey it is a critical chapter that propels us towards greater heights. Thank you.